so hello everyone uh, this video is about uh, wonder chef uh, easy lock uh, pressure cooker review so i just bought this a uh, few months back so i was uh, i plan to use this to cook uh, sambar so uh, two weeks back i i i was uh, pressure cooking tur dal so for one cup of tur dal uh, i used four cup of water but the wa but the tur dal got burnt so i tried with six cup water and uh, it went well okay so and today uh, again i wanted to cook sambar so i got this uh, pressure cooker but uh, when i was uh, cooking the vegetables initially it was leaking i noticed uh, there were a lot of uh, steam leaking the the reason why we use pressure cooker is to cook the food uh, uh, quickly at a very high temperature right so so this pressure cooker doesn't even serve the purpose but i thought uh, when i bought it i thought uh, of investing a huge amount so that uh, we won't face these problems but the very purpose for which i invested the money it didn't serve so the reason why i'll explain you i i removed everything so first reason is this part right that they are mounting is it's not even fixing properly so when you lock the uh, cooker like this when you lock the cooker like this the top cover it came when the first use itself it came out the top cover <laughs> this is the top cover it came out and the first cook itself it came out because uh, it didn't it was not able to uh, withhold the pressure actually it deformed this plastic so that is the level of uh, quality that uh, under chef is producing so when you uh, lock this no it will hit this uh, safety valve sorry this uh, pressure indicator and uh, it won't even come up i think it got stuck so the pressure was leaking through this uh, uh, pressure indicator heavily and this center hole that you are that you are seeing no the pressure was the steam was leaking through that also so i was checking that that they are using these uh, bolts and all inside these bolts and this uh, this uh, seal it it it, uh, it is not sealing properly very poor quality seal very poor quality uh, very poor quality seal they are using and uh, if you ask me that um, you know, why can't you tighten this thing there is no way to uh, tighten this this is the maximum level i can use so very poorly engineered stuff this one it's not worth your money it's not worth your money that's what i would say so i can show you if i unscrew this very poor quality even a local guy would uh, design this product which won't work so this is the thing they are using the this is the poor screw they are using they are not even using a proper screw this would easily get rust actually they should use a brass screw that so that it won't get rust if they have brain so at least an aluminum one so this one they are using this won't even go inside see see how much thread they have and how much uh, how much thread they have and how much uh, depth it is going see. so this is the problem okay, one is going fine the other one it doesn't go go away see and that uh, 1 mm 2 mm gap is causing the problem so it's a major problem and the seal is a major problem and uh, this cap is a problem and these are all the very important stuff that they have to address but they haven't addressed it so if you are asking me whether you have to you that uh, this is a good product or not it's a worst product that will that will not allow you to sleep properly so better avoid this and anyway i will try to fix it using i'll use a washer here 
to fix this properly and i have this uh, gaskets ready in hand with me i will use this gasket uh, this should go fine i'll try this actually i'll try this and i'll let you know in the next video